Well, good evening to you all. Uh, Pastor Sean here, and I've got my lovely wife, Pastor Megan here. Um, you know, it's such a privilege to come to you and mm. share with you what's on our heart for our Midweek Thrive. You know, hello to our Heritage of Faith family and, and any visitors out there. We just thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to, to just share what's on our heart and hopefully sow that seed that, it, that you grab a hold of it. And run with it because the devil is a liar, yes. but God only speaks truth. And we Amen. are here to release his truth into yes. the atmosphere this Thank evening. You, Lord. Um, but we've got a really exciting, exciting Amen. word this evening. Right? Yes, we love and miss you all dearly. Amen. And we can't wait to see you all in person. Amen. And just keep praying for the church. Keep praying for Amen. us that God is going to open mighty doors for us. And we'll be gathering soon in the name of Jesus. Amen. So just keep praying, family. Amen. Just keep praying. Um, what I would recommend is we're going to be taking communion yes. at the end and uh, we would so love you to join in with us so if you would like at this moment just run and grab your communion get it ready uh, get Amen. it ready so we can take communion at the end together because we are speaking on a dynamic topic come on it is dynamic drum roll drum roll <laughs> is healing for today that is our Absolutely. topic you know we are passionate about this topic we believe God is a miracle working God and healing is for today. So if you have any sickness in your body, get ready, get it's about ready. to leave. Today we are standing in agreement Come this on. evening that God is going to touch you wherever yes. you in your home, in your living room, in your car, wherever you are, you are going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so we are to totally passionate Amen. about this. So, Amen. you know, this topic was birthed. I was the other day, my mom sent me a, a Sid Roth um, YouTube on multiple prophets um, that were declaring the year of 2020. And what stood out was, you know, a lot of them are talking on the year of wholeness, you know, that God is going to pour out Amen. His Spirit upon the church. Mm. And um, we are going to see double portion of miracles. Amen. And that's what Pastor Sean and I, we are believing yeah. for double portion Amen. miracles, miracle signs and wonders. Amen for the unbeliever and the believers in the Amen. name of Jesus. So we are just excited. Come we're on. expecting we ex expecting you guys to write us more testimonies Come on. and tell us what's going on in your living rooms and the miracle signs and wonders that you're experiencing. And we are just waiting upon that. And um, we have been receiving multiple yeah, we've testimonies. Had, we've had a few testimonies already. Amen. Supernatural. S supernatural testimonies of... You know, we had a gentleman in our church go and he was um, told to go in for surgery and his wife got a call, I don't even know, a few hours or within that hour to come and fetch him that he didn't need the surgery. Yeah. So that is a miracle. That is a testimony. And we are just, we are experiencing it. Amen. So we're excited about Amen. that. Amen. Amen. So yeah, so recognize the times and the seasons yes. that we're in. You know, um, yeah. you know we, we need to be believing for the supernatural every day. Amen. The supernatural needs to become our natural, our yes. norm. You know, far too often we, we see that, you know, people see when the supernatural happens, they get like astounded and it's like, oh my gosh, you see what happened. And yes, we rejoice with amazement, but it should never be something that catches us off surprise or off guard where we're going, man, can you believe that happened? No, we like, yeah, we expected that to happen. Yes. And that's what we've got to be believing for. But you know why this is so passionate to me? is because I know that Satan lies to the church. Mm -hmm. Satan lies to the church and sickness and disease is a curse from the pits of hell. Amen. When Adam and Eve sinned, curse entered the earth and the, cur the earth was cursed. Mm -hmm. but, but there's one man, the second Adam, his name is Jesus. Amen. When he came, he dealt with that curse. And we should be walking in divine health and healing. Absolutely. And that is. So we can't pray prayers like, Lord, if it be your will. No. That's un there's no faith in there. There's no substance in there. There's no conviction in there. There's no authority in there. We need to be praying prayers like, Lord, we thank you. By your stripes, we mm -hmm. healed. It's and a we, covenant right. It's a covenant right to it walk in that right. divine yes. healing. You know, in, in Galatians, I'll just share this with you. Hallelujah. Galatians 3. Galatians 3.13, it says this, But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. So he took the curse upon himself. So that what Adam and Eve uh, allowed into the earth. Jesus said, I'm taking it upon myself. Mm -hmm. Now, 
This is the key. The curse is still in operation mm -hmm. on the earth. Wow. The curse is still in operation, but those that receive Christ, yes. that curse transfers through them, gets put on the cross, and we have a right to walk in divine blessing mm. and covenant promises. That is powerful. Amen. Powerful. And so, so look here, so it says, for it is written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone hung on a tree. Jesus took the curse. He became the curse so that we can be blessed, that we can be healed, that we can be whole in every single area. Um, he took sickness upon himself and, and that he gave us. That's why the communion table is so powerful. Amen. He took that sickness and we take back healing. But if we don't exchange and walk in that exchange in the spirit, mm -hmm. we ain't going to walk in it. Yes. But we have to first understand that healing is for today. Yes. That God wants us healed. Amen. Amen. You know, we, we have to be walking in that divine healing. Amen. Walking so, in it. Walking in it. Walking in it. That's a faith statement right there. Walk in it. Walk in it. When you have those symptoms, you walk in it and you Amen. say those symptoms have to bow down Amen. to the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. So, you know, healing is for today. In, um, if you have your Bibles, turn with us to Hebrews 13 verse 8. I'm reading the NLT. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same Yesterday, Come on. today, and forever. So what does that say? It is for today. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. For your children's children, forever. Yeah. That, is, that is just amazing. So what he did on the cross, he didn't just do it for then. No. Uh, because some people say, no, it was done when he did a few miracles. That was his healings. Yeah. It's for generations. It's for yes. anybody, for the church age, until he comes back. We have a right to walk in divine healing. Amen. He didn't change his mind. Amen. He has not changed his mind. It's, you know, we can look at the track record of what he has done, all the Amen. miracles that he has done, and we can walk in, in that same miracle power today. How Amen. exciting is that? Amen. So um, I also want to read in, if you want to turn with me to Psalms. God Let's so go good. to Psalms. Hallelujah. Psalms 103. I'm getting excited. Amen. Psalms 103, 1 to 5. It says here, Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins. Amen. Listen to this. Come on. And heals all my disease. Not some disease. Not some or two hard baskets. Come on. It says there, He heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. Come on. That's so good. I love this. Come on, all, all you elderly people, you can confess this. My youth is Amen. renewed like the eagles. Amen. God, God, has, you Come know, on. this is his revelation of what, you know, David was saying that when you forget what God has done for us, go back to Psalms 103 because he's done. He's forgiven your sins and he has healed all of our diseases. Amen. Amen. So it, it's just incredible, you know, knowing that Jesus is, is our healer. Amen. He's our and deliverer. You know, the, the, he's amazing, our the amazing thing is that King David he had a heart of let all within us praise. Let yes. all praise. And you see, that's the key right there. Amen. When sickness hits your yes. body, you got to go let all praise go that by your stripes I'm healed and made whole. Amen. I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm not moved by symptoms. I tell you what, I'll share something with you. On Sunday, the enemy tried to come against me. I, the room was spinning. Nobody even knows. I felt like I was going to fall over. Everything was disorientated in me. But you know what? I walked in divine healing and said, you Amen. ain't stopping me from releasing. Yes. I'm stepping into what you have for me. Why? Because with all I praise and I came to worship and I came to release the word. Yes. And you know what? It goes away. It dissipates. But if I submit to it, mm. if you submit to it, yes. he, he wants you're giving to, it power. You, yeah, you give when it you, power. When you give those symptoms power, they just take root. But when you praise God Amen. Come on. through those symptoms... You're telling them they, they, they need to, sub, uh, they need to submit. Subside, yeah. They need to subside to the, the word of God. Amen. Amen. But King David always knew, and that's the thing. It, we need to first know that God is kind, He's loving, and His mercies endure. Yes. Every day His mercies are renewed every day. 
It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what happened in your life yesterday. It doesn't matter if you messed up yesterday. Absolutely. You wake up today and you put your feet on the ground. You go, Lord, I messed up yesterday, but today is a new day. Your mercy is on you today. And I walk in today in Amen. everything you have for me today. Yesterday is wiped away. Today is a new day. And I receive your mercies on you today and just walk in it. But if we don't have that revelation mm -hmm. that we can tap into God's goodness and pull it down, yes. we ain't going to walk in that abundance. But we first have to see His loving kindness and Amen. His mercies. And I don't believe it's by works. To Never. receive your healing is not by works. It's by grace. It's about understanding what the price that Jesus paid for you and receiving it like a child, Amen. you know, receiving His healing, that He paid the price for you. When you can actually name yourself, when I feel Amen. So good. a symptom, I say, Jesus, you paid the price for Megan Leah Smith. Come on. It's a personal thing. You claim it for you personally, because yes. often people think, oh, it's for somebody else. No, it's for you. Come on. It is for you. Amen. Amen. I often share with people that, you know, when I, especially when I do an altar call and I say, you know what, do you want to receive Jesus into your life? You have to understand this, that God so loved the world, He sent Jesus and He named you. Mm -hmm. He saw you. And so when Jesus went to the cross and He said, you know what, for sickness, it wasn't a generalized thing. He was spe specifying you. He knew that He went to the cross and He named you on that cross. And you have to see that. Yes. You know, when I go to I go, Jesus, you came for me. Amen. You went to that cross for me, for my household, for my livestock, for my family, for my wife, for yes. myself. And I claim that for us personally. You know, I, I love what he says in, in Matthew. You know, we're talking about in Psalm, it said there that he heals all your disease. Yes. Right? Look in Matthew 4, 23. Now, what's amazing about this is this. Look at this. Jesus started his Galilean ministry at this time. He had just come through the wilderness. He had just gone out the other side and he started his ministry. But this is the first thing that happened. This is amazing. In verse 23, it says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. So this is a kingdom issue. Yeah. Healing or, or, or coming against sickness, sickness coming into the body of Christ is a kingdom issue. It's a kingdom breach. Mm-hmm. And Jesus came teaching and, and preaching about the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Wow. Earlier you spoke about that God is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and forever. Ever. So if the prophet Isaiah, um, and we're going to be touching on that shortly, it was prophesying of things to come, mm -hmm. Jesus was walking it out. Did Jesus not say that I do as I see the Father do? And I say what I hear the Father say. So you go, what's God's will? Well, there it is right there. God's will is for health and healing. Yeah. So we never have to be caught up with these prayers like, Lord, if it be your will. Oh. Or maybe you're trying to teach me something. No. No. He's That's not, not evil. Him. He's not evil. No. No. A, a good father who knows good things, how much more will he give you those things you ask for? Exactly. Amen. Amen. So I just want to tell you that and encourage you with that. That. You know, if he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and his first encounter, his first, he could have done anything. He could have, he could have, he could have put a coin in a fish's mouth as the first thing and said, oh, I'll meet your tax bills first. The first thing he does, he heals sickness and disease. Why? Because he came to make us whole. Mm -hmm. If we hold spirit, soul, and body first, we can do more for him. Amen. We can be the hands and feet. He can flow through us. That's why the devil's scared and he attacks the body because Amen. the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Come on. That's where the Holy Spirit resides and lives in our, in our so bodies. And so what will the devil try to attack is the flesh. Amen. But, you know, the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us and he's given us all. All authority. Come He's on. given us the authority over sickness, over disease. And so we just say, like uh, Kenneth Copeland says, I feel good. I feel fine. My body is He's going to come in, in line. line. Amen. So my body has to come in a line with what the Word of God says because the body is flesh, flesh and blood. But it has to come in a line with the spirit man. And when your body and spirit man meet, that's where your healing takes place because Amen. often the body screams out louder and tries to tell the spirit man what to do. But the spirit man's telling the body, come on, 
Get yourself yes, in do. order. Get yourself together yes, and be, obey me. I'm Amen. not obeying you. Amen. Amen. So it <clears> is <throat> God's will for us to be healed. And, and if you, you're not feeling well, you look yourself in the mirror and say, I command you yes. to come into alignment. Amen. I speak to my body. I speak to every fiber. What do we do? Every fiber, every tissue, tissue. every organ every is coming into cell. alignment yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The way I was created to function mm -hmm. in perfection yes. according to His will and purpose for my life. Amen. And we have to declare that. Amen. I, I love what uh, Isaiah says. You, you're going to read something yes. from Isaiah earlier. So Isaiah 53, 4 to 5 says, um, Yet it was our weaknesses he carried. Amen. So our weaknesses. Come on. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God. A punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. Amen. He was whipped so we could be healed. That's so good. That is powerful. You know, often when, when you do feel sickness, you think God didn't pay that price for nothing. No. He did it for you. He did it for your sickness where it says, yeah, he was whipped. He yeah. was whipped so we could be healed. Amen. So that wasn't done in vain. It was done for you. You who are suffering right now with your pain, pains in your body, with disease in your body. Come he on. did it for you, friend. Amen. He did it for you. Amen. You see, what, what, what often we forget, and sometimes people forget this, you've got to hear this, is we forget that everything pointed to the cross, right? Mm -hmm. Everything pointed to the cross. And where we are now, everything points back to the cross. And, and so that Isaiah, he was prophesying a, a prophetic picture mm -hmm. of Galatians. Yep. That, that, that person who is cursed, it hangs on a tree. Mm -hmm. and, and so Isaiah was prophesying health and healing would come through him. That you could walk in divine healing, that by his stripes you would be healed. Right? So Isaiah is prophesying future. But, but look, I want to read something from, from 1 Peter. Where is it? 1 Peter 2.24. 2.24. There it is. It says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. Once again, tying back to Galatians. Once again, this is Peter. Peter was actually referencing Isaiah, what you just shared. Hmm. Peter was actually going back and referencing that, pulling it forward. Powerful. Because look here. It says, On that tree, that we having died to sins might live for righteousness, by whose stripes, listen, we were healed. Were healed. Were healed. Healed. Catch that. We're, we're healed. healed. Come on, say it again. We're, we're healed. healed. <laughs> hey, we Sounds could, a bit we could join the choir. <laughs> we, we make the choir one more time. We're, we're healed. healed. <laughs> we are so in tune. We're like one. We like flow like a boat. But jokes aside, that is powerful right there. We're healed. Yeah. In other words, so what was happening? Isaiah was prophesying future, hanging it on Galatians that said we're redeemed from the curse. Um, in Peter, he's referencing back to Isaiah and back to the cross, going, by your stripes, we were healed. Amen? Amen. So think about this. You go, well, how does that help me? Easy. I've seen this too often. We've all been guilty of it. When you're praying and there's symptoms, mm -hmm. go, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that I'm going to be healed, that you are going to heal me, that it's always future tense. Mm -hmm. Future tense. Sorry, my maths, I, I never did great with uh, geography and history and all that type of stuff, but history, let's look at history. But 2020 odd years ago was quite a way back in the past, right? Yeah. And so if that's where Christ went to the cross and died for us, he was projecting forward and covering everything in the future, covering any, everything in the back. So when we pray, we can't pray futuristic. We have to tie back onto the cross and hang onto the cross with everything. And remind the devil what price was paid. Yeah, you got to yeah. look back and go, devil, I'm not talking to you about my future. Yes. I'm, oh, here comes something. Oh, you're getting me excited here. I'm not talking <laughs> to you about my future. I'm <laughs> reminding you about my past. Yes. My past is under the blood. My past is redeemed by the blood. And 2,020 years ago, Jesus knew I would be having this conversation now. End of conversation. Amen. So be it. Let's move on. It is written. It is written. Yes. But we've got to leverage off the past, off the cross. That's Amen. where the power is. Yes. We can't be praying, speaking into futuristic. Doesn't matter what your body feels. Don't allow symptoms mm. to pull you off course. Mm. 
You see, what, what did I mention the other day? The two kinds of faith, you know? Yeah, E.W. Kenyon wrote an yeah. amazing book on two kinds of faith. Brilliant book. And talks about the sensory realm. Yep. Uh, who was it? Uh, the other guy? Uh, not John G. Lake. Maybe John G. Lake. Yeah. Spoke about how people actually lose their healing. Mm. They have lost their healing. Yeah, Why? Yeah, John G. Lake. There's a supernatural miracles that take place and people actually lose their healing. Why? Because they start focusing on symptoms. Satan tries to plant something mm. and their focus goes from healing to what's this and that anchors on, that seed drops in and starts to bear But the only thing fruit. that pleases God is faith. Amen. So Come when on. you have faith, you're pleasing your heavenly father. But yep. when you start, the opposite of faith is fear. Yep. So when you start focusing on the fear of the symptoms, like, oh my goodness, what is that? Oh no, what am I? Am I going to die? Oh my word. The devil starts planting Come seeds on. of fear. And fear produces that and, and your faith diminishes. And that's what the trap of the enemy is, to make you so focused on the, the sensory realm, the touch, the feel, the feeling. Come on. And you, you step out of the faith and you step into the flesh and you step into fear. And so that's when the devil comes into attack is when fear is in operation. Yeah. Well, fear is basically faith's opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, faith pleases God, fear pleases the devil. Yes. Right? And think about it, you, you just mentioned now, faith is now the substance of things hoped for. Amen. So my faith has to be in the now, like it's done now, not going to be done. Faith is always now, whatever you need, financial, uh, physical, mental, emotional, whatever it is, mm -hmm. healing, it is in the now. Amen. Amen. And always remember, we've got to remember this, that grace has provided a way, mm -hmm. but faith downloads and receives it. That's good. Okay. Grace provides Faith receives and downloads. And we have to walk in that Grace rhythm. is unearned. Unearned. Unearned favor. Unmerited favor. favor. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. So make God's word the final authority. His word is our final authority. Amen. Believe what you see and feel. And we've got to meditate on it. Yes. You Amen. know, meditate on the word of God. Faith come by hearing and hearing and hearing. Faith come by speaking and declaring. And it doesn't matter how you feel. I'm not saying ignore... Uh, Ignore yeah. the reality, but remember there's a difference between reality and truth. Mm -hmm. The Word of God is truth. Yes. The reality is the symptom. Reality is I've got a, I've got a medical issue, but the truth is I'm healed. Amen. I'm set free. I'm delivered. Yes. My healer, Jehovah Rapha. Mm. We need to get to know Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha, my healer. Amen. And if we can get to that place where we stand on the Word, the, the Word of God is final authority, despite how we feel, despite the sore throat. Mm -hmm. You know what I always believe? I'll just leave with one more thing before we close. But um, if you can't build your faith to deal with a migraine, yeah, because what's the first thing that comes out? You know, do you run to the cupboard to take a tablet because you've got a headache? Mm. Or do you go, you know what, I'm going, to have, I'm going to have some water and I'm going to trust you, Lord, for healing. Let it go. Maybe I just need to get hydrated. But I believe if you build your faith with the little, you're going to have faith for the greater. Amen. You know, I, I, can't, I can't jump into something all the time. Sometimes God can give you the um, spiritual gift mm -hmm. of faith, which mm -hmm. is a, a special anointing, uh, one of the gifts of the Spirit, um, which help you and deal with it. But if, if I'm not in that place, I've got to build it and, and rather build it and condition yourself than wait for a day where you really need it and yeah. you don't have it. I mean, like Gloria Copeland says that, um, take it like medicine. Amen. Go and pull out God's word and find healing scriptures, write them down, put them all over your house in the mirror and declare it. Whenever you feel a symptom, instead of taking a Panadol for the headache, go to the, the scripture and say, say, say what, what the scripture Amen. says. And take that as medicine. And God's spoken word is powerful. His word will not return void. And cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. You know, so That's that so is good. key. That is so good. Well, yeah. I, I think we've deposited enough that's on our heart this evening. And we just pray. I, I pray there's a few things you get. Number one, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He doesn't change. Uh, it was prophesied from Isaiah that, you know, blessed are we, cursed was he. Uh, because he went to the cross. He took on every curse that we could have blessing, Absolutely. abundance, health, and healing. And, uh, you know, Peter, he spoke back that it was done. We were healed. Mm -hmm. And if you catch a hold of that, you begin to fill your heart with the Word of God, build your faith around the Word of God, and refuse to focus on symptoms. Mm. Refuse to focus on the symptoms. Or the doctor's reports. Because whose report, report yeah. are you going to believe? Yeah. 
the report of the Lord? Are you going to take hold of those, those words that the doctor prophesied over you? Or are you going to take the Amen. prophecies of what the Word has prophesied over you Amen. and said that you are healed, that He died on the cross for you? Amen. So what are you going to believe? Whose Amen. report are you going to believe? Amen. Amen. So why don't you get your communion ready as, yes. we, as we partake here this, this evening and get ready. Amen. Amen. Would you like me to do it? Or would yeah. you like to do it? You do it. and okay. Yeah. So, Father, we just thank you thank right you, now, Jesus. Lord. We just give you praise, Father. I just honor you, love you, Lord, and just thank you, Father, for this opportunity. I, I just lift up every person out there right now. Thank you, Father. And, Father, as we take time, Lord, to come before the table of the Lord, that you prepared a, a, a table for us, you prepared a way for us. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, that we thank you that you went to the cross, that you took every curse, every infirmity, every sickness, every disease upon yourself. Thank Whatever you, the Jesus. name is, yes. it was pinned on you. Thank you, Father. That, Lord, we can receive wholeness, healing in every area, thank spirit, you, soul, and body. Yes, Lord. I thank you right now, Lord, as we break of this. Thank you, Father. We receive yes. and download our health. Thank you, Lord. That we can walk in divine healing because it's a covenant right mm. in Jesus' name. In Go ahead Jesus and eat. In Jesus' name. Amen. And this blood... Thank you, that Lord. was shed, Lord, on Calvary. We thank you, Father, that because of this blood shed, it was a covenant that you shared with us, Lord, and that you cover us, that our bodies are covered, mm. that we wash, Lord, our households are covered, our families are covered, our livestock is covered Yes. because of this blood. And as we drink, we thank you. We remind ourselves. We thank you. Like David said, we give all praise to you. Mm. And we just remind every demon force, Every sure. symptom, every sickness, every disease, doesn't matter what it is, we're reminded that we are covered by your blood thank that you, was Jesus. shed 2,020 odd years ago. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this in Jesus', Jesus name. name. So right now, if you have Amen. sickness in your body, lay your hands on that, yes. that part that Come has on. the symptoms. Yes, right now. Right now, and we're going to stand where yes, two or more stand on. in agreement. Yes, thank you, Jesus. It is done. Thank it you, is Father. finished. So we're going to pray for you right now. We're going to believe right now the miracle power of God to touch you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God. That, that sickness, that disease is not greater than the power and the work of Jesus Christ. And I declare that that disease to bow down to the name of Jesus and we call wholeness. We call healing manifestation power, working power right now. And I thank you, Father God, that this, that lying deceptive spirit, you have to leave and disease has to leave. And the body is a temple of the Holy Ghost that does not belong to you, Satan. And body, you come in alignment. You come into alignment with the word that I'm speaking now by the power and authority that Jesus has given me. And we thank you for healing over cancer, over diabetes, over, over bones, over um, sugar diabetes right now, over deaf ears, over blind eyes, Father. We declare right now in the name of Jesus, over arthritis, Father. We thank you, Lord, that the power manifestation of Jesus Christ to flow in Jesus' name. We, we thank you, Father. Healing, yes, we Life decree it and we declare it. to flow over every member, yes, every Lord. person watching yes, right now. Yes, right now. You apply your faith. There's no distance mm. in prayer. Jesus sent forth the word and it healed. Tonight you, we've Jesus. sent forth the word. Yes. We believe for healing to flow mm. in your life. I, I ask you, share the testimonies thank so you, we Lord. can rejoice with you in mm. Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord. That was awesome. Amen. We felt the I anointing. felt the power of God flowing here this yes. evening. And we just pray that you've been touched, you've been moved, that your eyes have been opened, that every lying, deceptive spirit that has been in operation yeah. is exposed, dealt with, and that you see clearly that God wants you healed, made whole. Thank you, he Lord. died for you. He loves you. And He cares about every detail of your life, no yes. matter how small, how big. He loves you. We love you. We appreciate you. We're praying for yes. you. And we thank you so much for taking time out, your precious time, yes. to listen by faith that God would have a word for you in season Amen. tonight. So we just thank you for it. We pray that you have a wonderful week. Yes, don't Amen. forget to share this Amen. with somebody that is suffering sickness in their body. Share it, like it, Amen. post it. One word from God can change someone's Amen. life forever. We love Amen. you guys. God bless you. Love you. Love Goodbye. you. Bye.